Just me and you. Just the two. Don't worry about a damn thing. Don't worry about a damn thing. Damn thing. Oh, baby, don't, we don't need nobody else. You know how that song go, man. Reason why I'm singing that song, man. Today's episode, man, of Free Game Fridays, man. I want to talk about this specific topic that's really been on my mind. You know, um. So whatever way to talk about it, man, on Free Game Fridays, man, uh, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button first and foremost. But, man, today's topic, man, I, I, fellas, do not bring up her other niggas. That is, that's in the player's manual. That's on the first chapter of the player's manual. You shall not bring up her other niggas no matter what. Until you, uh, unless you're about to cuff her, marry her, or you, you you know, you about to take her serious or, man, don't bring up her other dudes. Why do you care? I, I, I don't give a fuck about your other niggas. I, <laughs> I know you got other niggas. I ain't stupid. I'm not naive to know that you don't have other men that you mess with. Do I care that you have other men that you mess with? No, I do not care. As long as, you know, you treat me well and, you know, I'm, I'm having my fair share. I, I could care less who you rocking with. It. But, fellas, you got to stop that. Stop it. If you are a dude who brings up other men that may be in her life, you got to stop that. You look weak. That's that's the number one sign of insecurity right there. You, It sounds like you're scared of competition. It sounds like you're scared of competition. And women definitely sense that. Women see that and they're like, oh, yeah, He's not in his. He's not in his masculine frame. He's not. He's not. Mm -mm, I, nope. Mm, he's scared of competition. He he feel as if mm, nope. He gonna lose. You gotta stop that. Like, why do you care if she? If, if you're not ready to cuff her, put a ring on it. Why do you care that she's messing with other people? Please tell me. I'm gonna wait. You don't got a good answer. Exactly. Don't man. Never worry about or bring up other men that are in there in women's lives. Simple. I feel like this, man. If she's spending time with you um, and you know that time is valuable, you know, um, we never get these minutes, seconds, hours, days back at all. So I feel like if she's spending time with you and you know she's spending time with you and let's say she's spending a lot of time you, with you, you guys spend a lot of time together. You know, you hang out, you kick it, whatever y'all may do. She's and let's say she's a busy woman. If she's a busy woman and she's taking time out of her day to spend time with you, why are you worrying about other niggas and who she may be spending her time with when she's not with you? It don't fucking matter. Time is valuable. She fits you in a Monday spot. You may be the Tuesday nigga. You might be the Wednesday nigga. Or you might be the weekend. Who knows? Who cares? All I know is she's making time for you and she's putting you on the schedule. And, you know, time is valuable, like I said. So, shit, at the end of the day, be thankful. Be grateful. You know what I'm saying? Because she could be just completely blowing off your plans. You try to make plans with her. She, nah, I got to do this and that. I got to do such and such. Or she giving you a runaround. She giving you excuses, all that type of shit. But if she's actually spending time with you and she's actually taking time out her day to link up with you, be grateful. Don't be ungrateful because it's a lot of niggas that's in the DM that get left on scene. It's a lot of niggas she don't text back. It's a lot of promises that she made to other niggas that she's not keeping. It's a lot that I can go into. But if she's spending quality time with you and y'all kick it and y'all vibe and, you know, the vibes is good. Y'all have good conversation. Y'all spend quality time. Y'all do fun shit here and there. Man, let that shit be that. Control your feelings, man. Control your feelings. The moment that you can't control your feelings and you start getting all insecure and you, you, you get all emotional and shit, that's when you're going to lose her ass. That's that's rule number one. That's when you're going to lose her because I feel like women don't like when men show too much emotion too soon. Like if you're not hers, if you're not together, you can't show too much emotion because you're going to look weak. Like she's going to look at you like, damn, like, I don't, I don't know about this nigga. He must not got no other bitches because I'm nah, he all up on my ass. I don't know. Because women like to chase. They they want to chase the man, believe it or not. I know social media makes it seem like it should be the other way around. But no, no. Women want to chase high value men. So if you got something going on with yourself, they want to be a part of that. So they want to chase after you as opposed to the other way around. Women have niggas chasing them every single day. But notice how the niggas who barely give them attention, the niggas who barely... You know, 
like their pictures, view their stories, show love, you know what I'm saying, gas them up. Them the niggas that they want because they're like, oh, shit, well, he's not like them other guys. He's not all up my ass like them other guys, shit. He must, shit, he must not care. Uh, I ain't saying he don't care about me, but, I mean, he, he could live without me and shit. I'm, I like it. Like, bro, that's how they is. And tell me if I'm lying. Please comment and tell me if I'm lying. Because we always want what we can't have. And that's a fact. <laughs> That's a Fendi fact. If we always want what we can't have. And by you not really giving a fuck about her having other dudes, by you not bringing it up, by you just keeping it cool, keeping it player, she going to fuck with you off top. I'm telling you, if I'm lying, then I'm flying. I'm trying to tell you. This is the game, and this is the sauce. That's why you are listening to Free Game Fridays, and you know how I'm going to give it to you. Each and every Friday, nothing but free game. Fellas, listen to me. Do not worry about her other men. That shit, it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. I don't I don't care about your other niggas. I know I ain't the only nigga you rocking with, and you damn sure ain't the only chick I'm rocking with. So, with that being said, shit, let's just enjoy each other's company. <laughs> let's just enjoy each other's company and, you know what I'm saying, vibe out. That's all we can do at the end of the day. And let's say, like, you really like her, and y'all been spending a lot of time together, you know. I, you, you... You begin to catch feelings for people that you spend a lot of time with. That's that's just the honest truth, you know. The more time you spend with somebody, that's the more feelings you won't catch for them because you spend time with them every day. You begin to learn things about that person. Um, you begin to learn their tendencies. You begin to just notice the, every little detail about a person. So the more time you spend with a person, of course, you're going to c- catch feelings. But in order to let's say you don't want to catch feelings, if you don't, you know, if, if you want to feel catching feelings is natural. You know, we all catch feelings. I even catch feelings. If I spend enough time with a female, if I'm, I ain't going to say female, if I spend enough time with a lady, of course, I'm going to catch feelings for it. Duh, anyway, I'm, I'm spending time with her. We more than likely having sex. The sex is good. We vibe and everything's hitting. Everything is reading. According to me, of course, I'm going to catch feelings. However, if you don't want to catch feelings, now is not the time for feelings. You need to get in your bag instead of your feelings. In order for you not to catch feelings, you got to be dating other girls. Like, you got to be out. You got to be seeing other people. You can't just be all up her ass. And I'm not telling you go out, be a hoe, be all up in everybody's face and fucking the whole city, this and that. But if you don't want to catch feelings, you got to be dating. And if you're single, you have every right to do so. Since when has being single meant that uh, no i gotta when you're single you can do whatever you please there's no rules and regulations to being single because when you're single you're not attached to nobody you don't have to make sure you call somebody before you get home or go to sleep you don't have to do none of that when you're single so when you're single you can date around you can vibe kick it with as many people as you want to because i feel like you got to test the waters to know what you really like in life you got to go out and experiment and see what you like and what you don't like that's the only way you're going to know what you want. That's the only way you're going to know what you need. You feel me? So, man, go out and date. And in order for you not to catch feelings, and if you don't want to, you know, you're like, damn, man, I'm liking this girl too much. You got to fall back. <laughs> you got to fall back because you got to fall back and you got to be seeing other people. You got to keep your options open. Always keep your options open. There's, there's not a wrong thing. It's not wrong to keep your options open because when you keep your options open, You're able to see what's out there, and that's not the only person that you're messing with. So you're not going to have such an attachment to that person because when you're only messing with one person and you're only talking to one person, say you're only texting one person and you ain't texting nobody else or talking to nobody else, when they don't hit you up, you're going to be like, damn, I mean, I'm kind of bored. I'm kind of lonely. I I mean, I I wonder what such and such is doing. I I haven't heard from them today, but eh. But if you out being busy, being productive, you know, you on your purpose and you live in life and you talking to other people, you're not going to really trip if they're not hitting you back in a timely manner. You know, shit, just fuck with me when you can. Simple. Another thing, too, though, I feel like with women, they know who they want. Like a girl, a, a girl really, she going to know who she want to lock in with and, and tie that knot with. And don't tell me otherwise. You know, she know who she want at the end of the day. She know who has her attention. You know, she know who she's peeping. Um, so with that being said, if like y'all been spending a lot of time together and she's still distant and she's still not really eh, like you ready to commit, but she's not ready to commit, then mm, 
yeah, bro, she's not really feeling you like that, bro. And uh, you heard that here first. And because I feel like every woman knows who they want at the end of the day. That's why I don't slide in DMs. That's why I don't because I like when that's only in social media for like I like the women to approach me on social media because I'm not going to be the nigga that's just in your DM just shooting my shot at random like you got to give me some type of choosing signal you got to give me some type of indication and and, and and signal that all right you feeling me so then i'll take it from there but other than that i'll I just be chilling like i ain't about to be shooting my shot i ain't about to be doing no extra boop boop this that nah I, i'm gonna let the women do that because i feel like at the end of the day they know who they want they know who they want to be with and i ain't set them for less you ain't finna half ass me you ain't fin- i want all your effort energy everything you know what i'm saying because when a girl really like you she gonna do the most and i like mine to do the most i don't want you to do half 25 percent, 75 percent. i want you 100 percent going hard for me and you know what i'm saying showing me the utmost love because i ain't no half-ass nigga you feel me no, you ain't finna come in here and, and, and sell me that and give me the short end of the stick i'm not going for that <laughs> i'm not going for that at all so with that being said, man, to wrap this up, man, fellas, do not worry about her other niggas, bro. It is completely irrelevant. Don't worry about her other dudes. They don't got shit to do with you. Just have your fun, live your life, be on your purpose, and kick it and vibe with her. And she'll let you know when she, she um, all right, you know, um, we've been spending a lot of time together. I think it's time for us to to make this a thing, man. And um, you know what I'm saying? Let, let her do that. Let her you know, bring it up as far as the relationship and, and all that, you know, because I feel like when a dude bring it up too soon, man, they get super turned off by that shit. Like, oh, this nigga want a relationship. She could have been just trying to have fun with you, but you all in love and lust and got your emotions all attached and whatnot, and you done fucked it up. You done, you done fucked it up. Now you done lost her. You know what I'm saying? Because you been you was being soft, but and that's not to say y'all can't show emotion and, and express yourselves. But read the room, man. Like let her, let her talk about it, and you know pursue you first. That's all I'm saying, man. But you know what I'm saying. I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button if you're watching us on Instagram. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend, share, comment, post, all that good stuff, man. It's your boy checking in, checking out another episode of Free Game. You dig? Hey. I'm trying to tell y'all, get the game now while it's free, because eventually it won't be free. I'm telling you this now. It's your boy T. Woods checking out, you dig?